What's going on Guardians? Your boy Sly here and thanks for joining me on yet another tradition in the world of Destiny. Times might be a little slow now, but give it a month and you will see Destiny back to its full potential. Alright, well happy Tuesday ladies and gentlemen. It's Tuesday, August 2nd and this is your Destiny Weekly Reset Guide. Alright, so hope everyone's week has started off pretty badass. I'm totally feeling the end of summer, no new games itch, and that's getting really annoying. But incredibly, since I started PC gaming, you could actually pick up all sorts of craziness for literally cents on the PC. I just bought a first person shooter for 70 cents. Seven tenths of a dollar. How crazy is that, right? I mean, it's not an amazing game, but for 70 cents, it's freaking fantastic. It's called Global Ops Commando Libya. <laughs> 70 cents, that's just crazy. Anyway, let's do the thing, guys. As for all those out there itching to see the main stuff first, we're going to stay in orbit and check out the weeklies. Starting with the Crucible playlist, we can look forward to a rare event coming back, and that is Doubles. Yes, sir, Doubles is back for a limited time. So, have some boxes you need to check off for Grimoire? Do it while it's here. And following that, probably the most fun Crucible playlist available in Destiny, and that is Mayhem Clash. A fast-paced, insane 6-on-6 six -six deathmatch, it's great and a total blast. Now that Trials is over for the weekend, Elimination is back in its place and will be here until Friday morning. Next up, let's check out the Nightfall, guys. As usual, we're peeping the modifiers first to see what we're up against, and of course, we start off with our buddy Epic. Enemies, aggressive, psychotic, murdering beasts, I get it. And then we have Berserk. Minions of Darkness won't flinch even after massive damage. Following that, we have Small Arms. Primary damage is increased. Next, Chaff. Player radar is disabled. And finally, we have Trickle. Recharge of abilities is significantly reduced. My absolute least favorite. All right, well, pretty easy week it looks like, so let's hop in and see what we're up against. Those fallen in the Ishtar sink on Venus? Story is they raided the prison of elders in the reef. Got an Archon Priest! This one is actually still hard for me to land in the Vanguard Strike playlist, so I'm totally happy that it's here. I also did check it out further in, and it is indeed the Taken variant. So, if you're looking to farm for a god roll Taken shotgun, the time has arrived once again. Alright, so next up, let's check out the Heroic Strike playlist for the week and see what mods we can look forward to over there. First up, we have Epic's little brother, Heroic. Enemies, great numbers, aggressive, yep, yep. Then, Chaff. Player radar is disabled. Following that, we have airborne players deal more damage while in the air, and then finally catapult rounds us off. Grenade recharge rate is greatly increased. <laughs> they must have heard me complain about arc burn so much that they went with none at all. Good job, Bungo. All right, guys, well, we're done up here. Let's head to Earth and stop by the tower. First stop, as always, our boy Shax and his crucible bounties. Okay, so we're here, guys. Let's take a look. First up, we have individual achievement. Complete Crucible match with an individual score of at least 1,500 points. You need to do this twice. Next, we have Making an Impact, win 7 matches. Crucible Combat is next, win 1 game in 3 different modes, Control, Clash, and Rift. Featured Matches is next, earn points in any featured Crucible playlist. Wins are worth 3, losses or completions 1, 5 total will cross this off the list. Next, my least favorite, Rifles and Cannons. Defeat 10 Guardians with each type of primary weapon. Auto Rifle, Hand Cannon, Pulse, and Scout. Finally, turn all of these biatches in and you, my friend, are G to G. Okay, so for the raiders out there who take my advice and stock up on Worm Spore during your raid runs, this week we actually have two vendors taking it in. Head on over to Dead Orbit and drop off all of your gently worn or unused Worm Spore, and you can head back to Lakshmi as well at the Future War Cult. She is also accepting gently used Worm Spore in exchange for reputation. Well guys, we are done here my good people, so the next stop is of course to the Reef. So I had this awesome recording of me getting another pair of Spectar gauntlets, but it messed up and I had to re-record it. Guys, listen, I'm so sorry to let you down. I'll never, ever do it again. I promise you'll see my Spectar gauntlets or boots again. I promise, okay? So, all right, y'all. First up, the Reef, my blue beauty Petra and her awesome little bounties. So we have the usual wanted bounty, Urxery the Lost, or Urxery Lost to Oryx, my bad, in the Cosmodrome. Next, we have Kill 12 Named or Consumed, Fallen, Hive, Cabal, or Vex in the Cosmodrome. And then, of course, the easiest that everyone should grab, Kill 100 Taken. And look! Look, they finally match up like bounties are supposed to. 
you can definitely get all of these done simply by going to hunt down Erksery. There's no real reason to it, but the completionists out there are pretty happy today. All right, well, thank you, Boo Boo. Next, let's check out Varix, and of course, I accept his brown nosing bag of goodies. For the Prison of Elders, let's check out the bounties, and first up, we have Impressive Performance. Earn points in the Challenge of Elders. Light Show is next with your Fire Team Gen Orbs of Light in level 41 PoE or the Challenge. And the third bounty, which I accidentally already turned in earlier, is Void Kills. I think it's called Shadow Boxer, I believe. But you just need to kill enemies with Void Abilities, and you are done. Okay, last week we had Super Kills as our bonus modifier, and this week we can relive the glory with Super Kills again. Yay, I love change. And anyway, hey, it's easy. Let's go ahead and get it done. Speaking of done, we're done here. Let's head up to orbit and check out the remaining modifiers for the challenge this week. As you already know, the bonus modifier is super kills, but the other two are exposure, guardian shields are increased but do not replenish, and catapult. Grenade recharge rate is greatly increased. So I don't know if these will reset later on or if it's just a glitch. Either way, at least you know what works from last week. Okay guys, so next on the list is the Dreadnought, and first for all the Raiders out there, let's go check out the challenge for the week. Last week we faced off against Oryx, and this week we can look forward to the War Priest. The challenge rotation is back to the start, and of course the War Priest is there to see it through. Next stop, you got it, head into the bowels of the beast and take a look at the Court of Oryx. For those out there that still need calcified fragments to complete your moments of triumph, there is a lot woven into the court itself. So this is definitely a great place to start, guys. All right, so this week, a Court of Oryx Tier 3 boss is Balwer, the more annoying of them all. You need to kill the Shielded Acolytes to create a space on the floor so it doesn't hurt you. The light is also a buff, and you can do damage against the wizard. However, Knights and Exploding Thrall are everywhere, and swords do not work on the shields. That's for the Witch in the middle, as well as the Acolytes. You have to take the shields out with gun firsts, and then you can use a sword. That is, if the floor doesn't kill you. The Arc Sword sometimes glitches out and will hurt her, but beyond that, it's kinetic damage only. Well, alright Guardians, that does it for this week. As always, I could not do this without you all, and we just passed 9,000 subscribers, guys. That is completely amazing, especially for a YouTuber who's only been here for 8 to 9 months, and for that, I have all of you to thank. Your shares, your retweets, your everything is the reason I've been successful at my start, and I cannot thank you guys enough. So on a side note, I found out that my Elgato capture card isn't working out properly, and that's why the streams went absolutely terrible last week. But we did get a first-timer through Oryx for his moments of triumph, one of my most active citizens out there, Jacob. So... Congrats, dude. Next on the list, we're going to pull my buddy Happy Hippo Gaming through so he can catch up, and that will be tomorrow night. I will see if I can stream that through the Windows 10 app instead of my capture card, but no promises, guys. It looks like I'm dead in the water until a replacement comes in the mail. But as long as it's here before Eyes of Iron and some awesome blind rating, I'm all up for it. Okay, well, that was it, guys. As always, you are all amazing. And if you want to stay up to date on everything, Destiny or The Division, follow me on Twitter at SlyNation. It's the best place to stay up to speed about new uploads, major updates, all that good stuff to our favorite games. All right, I'm out, guys. Thanks for watching, and have a great remainder of the week. Keep an eye out for more Sly Nation vids coming out in the future. But until then, this is your boy Sly. Done. Gone. Out. Ammo inbound. Zone B secure.